you will often need to draw your desired shapes by using Draw Parallel in AutoCAD, Electrical Doodads, and a whole tub of the ribbon. We have several tools in panel. The first one is Line. That makes it possible to draw a line to do so. Click on the line and in the command line you will be asked to specify the first point of this line. Therefore, you have to click on your design point and then as you can see in the command line, you will be prompted to specify the next point of your line. Note that the command line is a sentence that involves you to do the next step. So I click on my design point and this line will be drawn. Also, you can continue this command and draw the other line. As you see in the command line, you are asked to specify the next point, but if you don't want to draw the other line, it is possible to exit this command by pressing enter or escape key. The other tool is pull a line. Pull the line consists of line segments that are connected to procedure. Of drawing a poly line is same as the line. After selecting this tool, you will be asked to specify the start point. And also the next point. I'm going to continue to specifying points and then to exit this command whenever you want. By pressing escape, it will be done. Now, to see the difference between lines and poorly line, I'm going to do another lines, therefore, I select line 2 and then draw my lines and first escape wherever I want to exit the command. Here it is obvious that when you just keep the cursor on the polar line, all the shape will be bold. But if you keep the cursor on another shape, just each line will be bold separately. And that is the main difference between these two tools. Another useful tool that I'm going to explain about it is circle, which allows you to draw a circle. On your drawing. To do that, I'm going to select a center, reducing the circle, drop down, and then you can see in the command line that asks you to enter the center point for your circle, click on the point that you want to be the center of your circle. After that, if you move the cursor, you can see a circle will be drawn. And thus far you have to specify the radius of your circle. It can be done by two methods. The first method is just by moving your mouse and to specify your design radius by clicking on your desired point. But the second method is defining your radius right through here in the command line. For example, our right of value, which is my desired radius. After that, by pressing enter your desired circle with the insert value of radius will be drawn. Also, it is possible to enter the diameter of the circle, to draw it, to explain more about it. I'm going to choose center radius again. And as you see in the command line, I need to specify the center point for my circle. So I click on my design point and then I will be asked to enter the radius of circle. But beside it you can see the diameter wall that makes it possible to draw the circle by defining the value of diameter. So just write the wish is the first letter of diameter and then press enter, finally, the circle will be drawn. Another tool that is necessary to know about it is rectangle shape to 08, I select rectangle, and then, if, you know to command line, it asks you to specify the corner point of your rectangle. So I click on the point and then for the second time, 
I will be asked to specify the other corner point. Based on your need, you can specify the size of your rectangle by moving the mouse and then click on the point that you want. But there is other matter to specify the size of your rectangle, to show you the other methods for. The second time I go to rectangle 2 and specify the first corner point. And then and this is the if you pay attention to command line, there are three letters such as area. Dimensions, rotation. The dementia makes it possible to enter the lens and which the value of your desired dimension to do. That, you can write the in the command line and press enter for the second time and you will be asked. To insert the value to specify the lens. I'm going to enter my desired value and then press enter. In the next step, you will be asked to enter the width of your rectangle. I'm going to write the volume and then press enter. Finally, my dessert rectangle will be drone. Times you need to make any changes in your drone objects such as moving copying or also change the scales. For example, I want to move this shape. The first thing that you need to do is selecting your shape and then add a home tab of the ribbon. Go to modify panel and select move to here. At this time you will be asked to specify the base point of your movement. I will do that. And then at the next step I have to specify the second point to place my object. I click on this point and it will be moved. The next tool, which you may need is copy, after selecting this tool, you will be asked to select the object that you want to be copied. After doing that for another time, you will be asked to select the other objects. You can do that answer. You don't need to copy the other objects in the next list. Presenter and then you have to specify the base point for copying as it is obvious and the command line. After doing that in the command line, you will be asked to specify the second point, I'm going to place a concrete object here and then you can see that the command will be continued at this time. You can place your copet object in order in point or just press escape to exit this command. Here you can see the cockpit objects. The other tool that I'm going to explain about it is scale that helps you to enlarge or reduce your object. Isolate the scale till and then I have to specify the object that I need to change the scale of it as. It is written in the command line to select the objects I selected. And for the second time, it will ask me to select the order object because I don't want to select another. Object I first insert to go through next step. In this part, I have to specify the base point as it is written in the command line. I click on this point and then when I move the mouse, several sides of this object will be available for me. I can click on my desired point and the size of the object will be changed. Also, I can write in the command line the scale factor to that I choose that scale to again and repeat. The procedure I'm in selecting my desired object then pressing enter and specifying the base points. And this is the way I can enter a value as a scale factor if I ride the skilled factor less than 1. For example, 0 0.8, the size of my object will be reduced. But if I enter a value more than 1 such as to the size of my object will be doubled or enlarged. I enter a value and then by pressing enter the size of my object will be changed. 
you can rotate you object around a base point by using a rotary tube to do that just choose rotate in modify panel then you need to select the desired object and then press enter in this part in the command line you are asked to specify the base point for the rotation so I click on this point and it's better to specify the center of your object as a base point. After that, by moving, the closer, you can rotate your object and this part, if you click at a point. The rotation of the object will be done. Also, you can enter a value in the command line as a rotation angle. So do it for center here. You can see the rotation is done. You may need to remove or erase the drone object to do that, choose erasable. Then you need to select the object that you want to be erased. So just click on it, then first enter and it is erased.